Okay, so in the previous demonstration, we took a look at how we can actually use a piece of relief as a stamping brush or as its own unique brush shape. In this demonstration, we're going to put how we used that tool into action on a more realistic piece. So here we have a polar bear to which we're going to sculpt using a brush. So I'm going to come and sculpt using that deposit. Now I've created a piece of fur as we can see there and another piece at a separate angle. So I'm going to start off with the fur at this angle I'm going to start to sculpt on my polar bear. Now I don't want the strength to be too hard I'm going to stamp with this. Now I'll show you the difference between the stamping and the normal. Now if I just use the normal and paint all over him everywhere I can okay we can see we get a variation in height of the fur it doesn't really look like fur it could begin to look like a rock or a rough texture so I'm going to revert that if I moved over to limit and did the same and kept going over and over and over again in the area I wanted so as we can see we get those flat spots so really the most ideal for this is that stamp tool now I've set an interval distance of 0.5 millimeters so when I paint with the brush it will be 0.5 away but as we can see that's very uniformed at the moment so if I add a scatter distance we can see it starts to paste it everywhere if I was to change the scatter distance too large it would take me a long time because it would be going everywhere so I'm going to put that back down to about two okay I'm starting off with the strength relatively low and the radius of the brush relatively low so I'm not going to worry about going too much in and out of the actual model of the polar bear itself because I can always cut this out later so I'm just going to paste the fur on into variations of places now doing this is one option there are numerous options to doing this within ArtCam to putting texture on objects but this is just showing you one of the free hand options to texture Okay, so we just go up by the neck. I'm leaving the leg out because I'm going to go the other way with that. Now, obviously, this is just the one texture here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually increase the strength slightly and change the size of the fur just slightly. Now, that's a bit too big, so maybe I'll knock it down a bit lower and just go over certain areas I'm going around the leg here so that will really highlight the length of the hair around the leg usually would be higher around the top of the back as well I'm going to come around the body and paint around the underside so what I'm doing is I'm increasing the thickness of the brush and how hard it is I'm going to reduce the size to even smaller and just go over my whole piece just to make it look slightly more realistic. The problem we have is that all the hair is going exactly the same way and on the face it's going to be a bit hard so I'm really going to drop that strength down, zoom in a bit and just go for it all over the face with this small brush all around the nose maybe even drop the strength even more in the radius real small bits around the ear okay so that's using the one brush to do that now I'm going to go back up to the top and use the other brush now as you can see the other brush is going the other way 
put the strength in so we can see that. So in this case what I'm going to do is drop the brush size, drop the strength, do exactly the same. Well that's a bit hard but we'll go with it, a bit high. So let's just paste in the leg around there. Drop the size a little bit. So it's a change in direction around the leg. That's okay. You change the strength slightly. Add some separation in. I'm actually going to change the smoothness. So the bit I paste in around here blends slightly more. And then do bits on this leg. Just randomizing the size of the brush, the strength of the brush, working with that orientation. I'm going to start to mix it up a bit now on the underbelly and go against it because it's the stamp. It's never going to be flat. It will blend it in. And then some around the ear, around the top of the head, just to change the shape slightly of this. So we can still see when we zoom in. There are areas I haven't quite got, but that's okay. And I'm going to come off that and select this vector and remove everything from around it. We're going to take a look at what we've done to that polar bear. Well, we've created some more natural looking fur down the leg and on the body. And we could keep going with this if we wanted to actually sculpt and sculpt and sculpt more using that brush. So using what we saw in the last demonstration we're seeing a more realistic use and an actual freehand way to sculpt using brushes, scatter options and textures within our design itself.